Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today's actually the 4th of July. I'm not sure when you're watching this, but it's the 4th of July. I don't have any plans. Um, I was in California last week for the Sephora squad, which is really, really fun. But once I returned, I was I got so ill. Whenever my body is like off of its like usual routine, sleep-wise, hydration-wise, Everything wise my body just shuts down and does very annoying things So I just felt really sick when I got home, but I'm recovered now as you can tell I woke up and put on my unit and my makeup and I'm feeling refreshed and revived All right, and for today's outfit you guys I'm gonna wear something very casual just because I'm home for the fourth I'm not really doing anything or going anywhere But I do want to go for a little walk around the neighborhood just to kind of stretch my legs and get some fresh air that's always good for me my mind and everything so I want to wear something that's very you know chill I was gonna do this bodysuit and this, these shorts but I kind of feel like I'm gonna just do this just all white just because I won't be grilling or doing anything that's gonna possibly get me dirty so I'm gonna wear this both of these pieces are from Walmart and, and speaking of Walmart they are partnering with me today on this video which I'm excited about because Walmart has really been stepping up their fashion game lately I spoke about this a few vlogs back but they're definitely stepping up their fashion game a lot and if you guys are looking to do a closet refresh or to add more basics definitely check them out they're very affordable and really just good quality as well. So let me get dressed and I'm gonna share with you guys the additional pieces that I got from them, so stay tuned. The first item I'm gonna be sharing with you is from Free Assembly, which is one of my favorite brands at Walmart. I shop them all the time. I'm actually wearing one of the dresses right now. This dress is very casual and I also love that it has pockets. Now it's flowy, it's airy, and I can dress this up with a, a pair of wedge heels or throw on some sandals with a tote bag and call it a beach day. The fabric is so soft, airy, and breathable, and I loved it so much that I had to get it in another color. Also from Free Assembly, and it's this really, I want to call it a poplin dress. I think that's what it is. It's a poplin dress. It's a button-down, cinched waist, um, quarter sleeve type of um, dress here, and I'm obsessed with this. It is so chic and just beautiful. It's definitely giving me Hamptons vibe. Very summery, very elegant and stylish. And for the price of these items, you guys, the quality is actually really, 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 really good. Pairing it with some wedges from Eloqui Elements. I believe I'm saying that right. But this is also another great brand at Walmart. They have amazing like shoes. I had to get a white strappy wedge heel for the summer because why not? Such a staple in my summer wardrobe. They pair well with dresses, jeans, shorts, the linens, all of that. Such a staple that I also got one in black because I don't know. I love a wedge. I'm a wedge girl, okay? I'm a wedge girl. The next item I have is from the line Time and True. And this is definitely my first time purchasing from this brand on Walmart. And I was very impressed by like some of the styles that I um, saw. This one really caught my eye though because it's in this like washed gray color which I know is gonna look so like lovely with silver jewelry which is my new favorite thing um, so I got this and it kind of like you know at the neck is gonna have that like racer style both at the front and the back so I thought that was stunning and it had a little cinch at the waist going on I'll put the try on here for you and it's also a maxi dress some sort of kind of I'm not really a maxi dress person but I decided to just give this a try just to see how it would look uh, unfortunately I did not love this on me there's something about the cut and the length it wasn't very flattering so I did return this and I got another one of the belted um, shirt dresses from free assembly because I loved it so much and yeah I did return this one here Next up, I just got a simple basic bodysuit, which is always a staple for the summer. It's just a tank bodysuit, like round neck, that I'm planning on wearing with these super cool finds that I got. Now this is kind of, what do you call this? This is from Free Assembly again. It's kind of like a smock type of style skirt. So it cinches a little bit and flares at the end. And I also got a navy blue, which I love navy. It's a navy blue short with a cinch waist and the flowy bottom. So I'm gonna style both of these with the white 
tank. I'm going to show you just how I'm planning on wearing these. These are also definitely 4th of July friendly as well, but they're also just very clean girl aesthetic. I'm going to leave links to all of these pieces down below for you to shop on walmart.com. It's super easy to shop and find amazing brands, but I'm also going to list all my favorite brands to shop from that I think just has really high quality stuff, affordable, they're stylish, and Walmart has definitely been stepping up their game lately, so, so you can shop any of these items from the links down below. All right guys, all dressed, and this is the full outfit. Oh, let me turn you guys a little bit. <laughs> this like really simple bodysuit and these really simple yet comfy shorts. You guys know me, I love looking and feeling put together at home, so I love these kind of basics for that. I actually got some PR from Lancome. Um, this is one of the fragrances I got in the box. I think they reimagined this fragrance, meaning that they kind of revamped it. Um, so I've never tried the original, which is this one. So I'm gonna be trying that today. So far, okay, it's actually really strong. You did not need that much, Octavia. Oh, it smells so good though. I smelled it last last night and I was like, wow, like this is about to be my new everyday fragrance. And I'm not usually a floral girl, but these are the notes. So it says, introducing a new irresistible interpretation of La Vie et, La Vie et Belle, Iris Absolute, a floral fruity gourmand with the highest concentration of iris in the La Vie et Belle family. <laughs> um, so the top notes are juicy fig and black currant. The middle notes are Damaskina rose and jasmine sandback. Um, sustainably sourced iris and patchouli. Okay, so because they smell very different, I don't know if this is like the upgrade from this. I don't know, this to me has a more like mature smell. Not old, but like mature. Like it's giving grown woman, whereas this is like giving baby girl. Um, but yeah, so let me take you guys from the tripod. I'm vlogging on my M50 today with the Sigma lens, which is a heavier camera, so I tend to just leave it on the tripod and talk versus carrying it around because it is quite heavy. But for the day, I think I'm just gonna create some content and um, clean up the, the uh, house a little bit. Now, I got this painting a while back, and believe it or not, this is a painting that really gave me the idea for the color scheme that I decided to decorate the house in. I just love this picture so much and I love the warm tones. So you can see like, you know, there's white and um, there's just like greens and tans and brown. So this, this really inspired me to like how I'm planning on decorating the house. It's really like my biggest inspiration for the color, colors that I'm intending to use. Also really loving what we have going on here. I love the wood. I love this rug so much. I'll link it for you. And I love the greens. I love this color scheme right here. At first I thought it was gonna look way too like oldie, but no, it's giving, like you have taste. You have some sort of design skills. <laughs> Getting a new coffee table because I really wanna go with like something more, like a different feel. I saw this one on Facebook Marketplace, which I am, Currently waiting for her to respond to me on because I would love that. I love th that stone look and I think it would just be such a statement piece in this room. So yeah. And then also paint swatches. I'm considering doing an accent wall in the dining room. I don't really like th this one just because it's muted. Um, I think it would look really nice. I'll put it against the wall for you guys in a bit. And then also for like my beauty room, I wanna do like, I don't know, maybe like a taupe. Maybe this is too like, I kinda wanna do like one of these tones for like a wall in my beauty room. Obviously we're gonna put white in there cause white just looks really nice on camera, but I do like these tones for that. Um, yeah. So dining room update, as you guys know via Instagram, we added panels to this room as well, which I think really added a touch of elegance to the room. The rug that we have in the dining room at present, we have, um, you guys can see the tones here, but we have that very dark shade, which looks like a black, but it's actually like a really dark green, similar to the couch. 
Um, I love the little speckles of brown, which is why I thought adding in some kind of like wood would be very nice. Um, so it looks really, really good. And obviously like the white, which you know, the walls are in. But that's pretty much that for home decor talk. Um, not much else to do right now. I'm yeah, I just, my main focus is to just like have this room sorted. Um, just because I, I was gonna be like my filming backdrop, especially for sit down content, because I really love the aesthetic. Right now it's like a mess. I'm just making a little pot of chicken foot soup for now, just because I'm extremely hungry and I really just, I've just been craving soup a lot. Worry about the mess, you guys. I cannot wait until my new pots arrive. Cannot wait. But yeah, making a little small pot of chicken foot soup. Mmm. I also feel so good, you guys, in my body. Let me move this mop bucket because it's seriously messing with my aesthetic right now. <laughs> I've been working so hard to lose a little bit of weight because I gained almost 12 pounds these past few weeks. Yeah, yeah, 12 pounds. And when I tell you, I am, I've am i been constantly like out of breath. Believe it, when, when I stepped on that scale, I was like, and I'm not a scale person. Like I don't make it a habit to jump on a scale and measure myself. I just knew I had to based on how I felt. Like I would be out of breath, like going upstairs, um, everything, it was a lot. So I've been like intermittent fasting, which has been such a game changer like I lost maybe like seven pounds already um, I'm gonna start working out this week again so I know that's gonna even take me to my goal faster I'm just trying to stick to my intermittent fasting because that really I think that's really like the key oh yeah and a calorie deficit so I'm eating like a certain amount of calories per day and I'm intermittent fasting for I believe 16 hours every Day, I start around 7 and I will probably have my first meal around 9 or 10 a.m. So. Unfortunately, didn't make it to a thousand steps. I made it to about 350 and that's all I could do. I just lifted some weights to compensate because I couldn't, you guys. I was, whew, I can't. Oh, you guys can also just see how much I'm sweating. Like my sunscreen is like running down. Um, but we're gonna make dinner now because I'm kind of hungry, which is why I have no energy to work out. So let's go make some grilled chicken with green beans and a little nice caramelized onion. <laughs> 